So switch emulation on the Ally X is insane. So let's go through the eight simple steps to get us up and running. And this of course also works for the original Ally and also the Legion Go 2. For step one, let's start by downloading Yuzu by opening up our favorite web browser, which in my case is Brave. Now I'm not gonna tell you exactly where to download it from for reasons, but a simple Google search will help you with this. But I do have to say that I don't just love how the internet is an archive of information. Hmm. Next for step two, we will extract and install Yuzu. So let's head to where we downloaded Yuzu, which in my case is the downloads folder. You may need to extract it, but I've already done this. I'm just gonna copy it. And now let's move it into the location we want it to be, which in my case is just the C drive in documents. For step three, with Yuzu now extracted, we now need to launch Yuzu. Open up the Yuzu folder, scroll down and inside is a file named Yuzu. <laughs> Pretty shocking, right? Click on that file twice to open Yuzu. And this very first time we'll get this pop-up telling us that encryption keys are missing. And these files are called the prod keys and also the title keys. Now due to obvious reasons, I can't tell you where to get them from because of legal reasons, but there are many guides available online on how to do something called dumping them for an actual switch. And of course you may be able to find them online, but that's your call. For step four, we'll now place our keys in the correct place. So I have my prod.keys and title.keys files right here in the downloads folder. Let's open user back up, click on tools, then install decryption keys, head to the location of the folder, which as I say in my case is downloads, click on the prod.keys file and this decryption keys were successfully installed pop-up appears. Let's close down Yuzu, press on the yuzu.x file again to load back up. And we know the process is successful as we won't now get our decryption files are missing pop-up. So now we're all good. For step five, we now need to add our Switch games. Let's double click on this main area, find a location that we want to store our Switch games in, which in my case is the documents folder on the C drive. Click create new folder and rename it to Switch. We now have told user the path to the location of where our Switch games will be. Those of us who are rocking a new Ally X may want to put our Switch games on our fully working SD card slot, which is a perfect location, yes. And now it's just a case of placing our Switch games we own in here. Again, there are many guides online of how we can dump them from our Switch. And of course, you may come across some games online, but let's make sure we support our awesome developers in any case. After we place our games in a folder we created, we can head back into the Yuzu app and our games will appear right here. So let's tap on it or press B to launch it. This first time we press view and then full screen to make sure it fills the gorgeous Allies 7 inch 1080p screen. So with Yuzu now fully installed, for step six, we now need to get the Allies controls working with the emulator. As if we press LB and RB, they currently do not work. But don't worry, this is super easy and we don't need to map anything. Let's close Yuzu by clicking on end task in command center, then yes. Now let's launch Yuzu again. Simply click on emulation at the top, then configure, and a new window will appear. Next click on controls, and under input device, let's select the profile called Xbox One Controller Zero, then press OK. To test this out by launching a game, press the top LB and RB buttons. And by the way, I just love how nice and clicky these now are on the Ally X. And we can see that the A, B, X, Y buttons now work as do the thumbsticks when we scroll through selecting a character, yes. Just a final note regarding controls and that don't forget in command center in the control mode section that we have gamepad selected. It's so easy to forget to do this. For step six, we'll now select the best settings for the ally by going to emulation, then configure, then graphics. And these are actually all very good as they are. And we only really need to change them if having some issues for some reason. I do recommend changing two things though. The first in system and changing the device name to our own name, which for me is <laughs> Pete, just so it appears within games rather than the name Yuzu. And the second is in general, and instead of it always asking us when we close Yuzu, what we want to do, let's change this to never ask. So when we now close Yuzu, it will just simply close without that annoying prompt. Just two more steps now and for seven, let's add Yuzu to the game library in Army Crate. By clicking on the select button, then add game app to library, press the LB top button, select the yuzu.exe file in our yuzu folder, and it should then appear, and it didn't for me the first time, so I just press cancel, LB again, and then it did appear. 
I'll give you an awesome tip, which is to press X, then set game profile, go to configuration. One of the most underrated new features of this week's new Armory Crates 1.5 update is hearing that we can select what operating mode we want for user when it launches in both plugged in and on battery. Less intense games may be fine on silent, but I'm going to select performance to be on the safe side. And this is so great as it saves us messing around from now on in command center as Yuzu just doesn't need 25 watts on battery for Yuzu, which drains the battery quite a bit more. Winner! And finally, at 8 is installing DLC or updates. So let's launch Yuzu from the game library, go to file, and let's click on install files to NAND. Here it's just a case of selecting where our update or DLC file is, which in my case is on the desktop. A pop-up message saying, please confirm these are the files to install. Let's click install. And we should now get this message saying that the file was installed if we did so successfully. And we can double check this as it now should appear in add-ons. Congratulations, you are now fully set up for Switch emulation. And hey, if this helps you hit like and also leave a comment to help the YouTube algorithm spread this to more people. And also subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these tutorials. And as a little extra bonus watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. You can literally feel it in your soul when it's time. Time to move on from people, time to make a change in your life, time to get rid of unhealthy habits, time to want more for yourself. At some point, you'll just know. I'm so bad at recognizing the warning signs in life when I need to move on from a job, toxic friends, or situations that we're no longer supposed to be in. So let's be alert and aware of when we need to move on in life. So stay encouraged today, guys. Find out how my first few hours with the new RG Ally X was in this vid. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.